Welcome back to another exciting episode of Booze Briefs. I'm Matt. I'm Derek. This, my jam. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah? I'm excited for you to try it because I think I probably have texted you every single day and said, have you had uh, you back yet? I can confirm this guy has been texting me all the time yeah. about this. So you've hyped this up a lot. I'm not normally a fan of Rise. I don't buy them. I haven't liked them in the past. Mm -hmm. But I know Whistle Pig is one of those that is really highly regarded. Yeah. Really good stuff. And you haven't shut up about it. Yeah. And nor will I. Okay. Well, for at least the next nine minutes, <laughs> I will not stop talking. So what can, what can you tell us about this, Matt? So it comes out of Vermont. Okay. Um, they bought a 500-acre dairy farm. Hmm. Seems like a logical place to make rye. <laughs> uh, the two gentlemen that started it, they found a bunch of Canadian blending whiskey, uh, tenure, and brought it back to the States because they felt like it wasn't being used correctly. Um, that's when they started Whistle Pig. It's a long, drawn out, <laughs> weird story. I don't know. The website is kind of. Yeah. It's odd. It's odd. It involves a Frenchman on a bike and whistling pigs and near-death experiences. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I believe it. Uh, I'd like to hear what you have to say. Um, what do you think a whistle pig is? Yeah, leave a comment. Why does this have the name whistle pig? Yeah. I've never heard a, whistle, a pig whistle before. I you? No. I mean, when they're on the grill long enough, they kind of pop and squeak and make noises that way, but I've never heard one whistle. No. Um, and then piggyback, I, I don't know if it has to do with the piggyback ride or if it's just... We do a lot of research for this show. That's, that's taxing. Yes. Taxing. <laughs> so these guys don't hurt for humility. No. Uh, it says their vision is to respect tradition, embrace progress, and bring friends together over the world's greatest rye whiskey. They've had every single one. So they, yeah. I mean, they had to, to be able to proclaim themselves number one. So Dave Pickerel, their master distiller, returned to our warehouses to realize his dream of creating the best aged rye whiskey for your cocktail. 100% rye for full spice flavors, aged six years for unprecedented complexity, and bottled at his ideal strength. Unprecedented. Un yeah. Never before has something been so complex and so good. The, the best thing on the back of this bottle right here mm -hmm. is the three words they use to describe it. Classy. Spicy. Spontaneous. Oh, classic. I'm gonna call it, yeah, classic. Classy. <laughs> it's all the same. So, Matt, again, I have a lot of questions for you about this whiskey here. Okay. And, and not because I'm doubtful, I trust your opinions on right. things, but uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a questioning sort of sort of guy. How can something that has been sitting in a barrel for six years be spontaneous? Like that requires a lot of planning and time and patience. It does, but I think once it's out of the bottle, that's when it's spontaneous. <laughs> Wild card. You got, you got to get it out, right? So we got to get it, Let's get it out. Let's see what it wants to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was a sloppy pour, right? Oh, yeah, that's quite all right. My goodness. Can't take so this it. is the second whiskey we reviewed now that has something to do with pigs. It's just excellent. I hope this is better than the other one. Uh, the other one we, we talked about, you can see the video for it. It's called Peg Leg Porker. We both thought, eh. We didn't plan to make that at the same pitch. No, either, but it's just good though. It's kind of the reaction we had, just eh, neither good nor bad. It's just, eh. But this, I'm, I'm hoping is much better. God, I'm excited for you to try it. it smells pretty nice. It does, and it only gets better. Oh, it really only gets better. That's that's why I like it. I've had it for a couple weeks now. Uh, as you can see, there's not a whole lot missing there because I want to cherish what's in there. Mm. It's it's good. Oh, it's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm not trying to go... Yeah, wow. I'm not sir. trying to go full Richard Patterson over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Please don't throw it on the wall. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> yes. Right no, I'm... Yes. Shove your nose in there. <laughs> oh, that was a little more like William Neeson. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, sorry, get off my lawn. <laughs> That's... Anyway. I already have it. Uh, this is nice, Matt. I... You... You, via the good people at Whistle Pig, may have changed my mind on what I think about rye. Yes! Because normally, I don't know, whenever I hear rye, like, I like rye bread for a Reuben. Hate it. 
It's those damn caraway seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Who puts those in there? I don't know. That's not, no. Like, those are unnecessary. So when I hear rye, I think of those damn caraway seeds. Yeah. Pastrami? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pastrami on rye, that's good. I mean, yeah. yeah. But there's, like, I don't get that sort of herbal taste out of it. No. There's a lot of cinnamon on the back of this. Yeah, I love the spice, but it mm -hmm. just, it, um, it's not like fireball. No. no. <laughs> Where you're, hey, here's a liquid red hot with booze in it. <laughs> awesome. Not at all. This is more of like a traditional, it tastes like cinnamon molasses cookies to me. Ooh, yeah. Yeah? Did I just make something there? I think you did. Ah, yes. Look at you. Oh, man. If anybody wants to make us some cinnamon molasses cookies, just Ooh. gladly accept yeah, just, them. Just fax them to us. Yeah, yeah. That noise. The fax noise. Mm. Mm hmm. That's nice. I'm going to add a little water to this because this is at a reasonable proof here. I mean, 96.56. Precision. It's really, really specific. Pigs are very precise. That's the distiller's strength. Well, uh, this is also small batch and pot distilled. Uh, isn't, I know you did some research mm -hmm. uh, as far as like what Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey is and all that. But small batch, if I... Do you want any water? No. Nah, I'm tired. Right. Um, <laughs> Get that out of the field. Small batch, if I'm not mistaken, really doesn't mean anything specific. Not not like it used to. It, it's kind of like if you see all natural on a food label, like that doesn't mean anything. It's still got plastic in it. Yeah, it could. It could be natural plastic. Good. It could. Uh, yeah, it just it doesn't have the know, classification that it used to. Okay. Really. That, that um, it's it's not spontaneous when it's <laughs> when it's a small. Actually, I, I feel like a small batch would be more spontaneous. Mm -hmm. It just pops up like hello, Bobby. <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, but uh, this is uh, I love this. Yeah, and I think the water opens up the nose on this more. Like I'm getting more of that cinnamon on the nose, whereas before I was really just tasting it. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah. But I think you get the the further you get down in the glass, mm -hmm. the more rye characteristics mm -hmm. you get. The smell is more. You get that little bit of sharpness on yeah. there. You still have that complexity of the that molasses, mm -hmm. that that cinnamon, but it's a little sharper with the rye. I think it tastes better with the water too. I you do? Yeah. yeah. I get a little more of the cinnamon, but everything just kind of like opens up. I've had it with ice cubes before. Yeah. I put two cubes in a, in a nice rocks glass and sip on it for a while in front of the fire. Great suggestion. Too. And so that's that's kind of where I'm going with this. Like some of the bourbons, just with that the sweetness and the corn and those kind of things. Right. To a fault, they may be easy drinking. Yeah. Not not to say this is challenging to drink, but I think the spice that's in here, the heat that's on it as well. This is one that I'd be more inclined to spend time for right. a glass as yeah. opposed to pour a glass and then maybe have another one. Right. Relax. Yeah. Right? It was, it was patient for six years. Mm -hmm. You'd be patient with your glass. Yeah. Don't be spontaneous. No, be, cla be classic. Be classic. Be classy. Oh, good. You can also be spicy. Can you be spicy? Ooh. I don't... I guess? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I just... I want to keep smelling this. There's like a... This sounds like an insult, but it's not. There's almost like a cinnamon potpourri sort of thing to mm -hmm. this. Yeah. Not in that artificial, cloyingly sweet, like you walked into uh, so a, a, ba a bathroom at Steinmart or something. So it's season. Uh, but the, yeah, like the crazy uh, pine cones that everybody has in the living room. I don't have them. Are you sure? I think I saw them in there. Do, do you have them though? I think your wife might have snuck them in there. I don't know. I, I don't have them in mine. I have two dogs that would eat the pine cones, and then I'd have dogs with cinnamon breath, and that's not good. Can't be good for them. It sounds better than dog breath. You, you have a point there. <laughs> you have a definite point there. But this is uh, something that I love. Welcome back to the We Judge <laughs> Animal Breath yeah, Channel. Exactly. Uh, the Westminster Dog Show has nothing on us. Mm. Um, so this was forty nine ninety five. So for really? all intents and purposes, fifty bucks. Mm -hmm. We're very close. In its weight class. Yeah. Where are you going with this? Because you know 
I know, I know whatever number I throw out, you're going to go higher. Yeah. And that's fine. Um, for 50 bucks, man, I want to go 92 or so. Like, I really, I really like this one. Yeah. I am very pleasantly surprised. Again, having seen the Whistle Pig before, I've seen the 10 year, I think that's the white label or something like that. But there's a couple different ones I've seen on the shelf that are more of that 70 to $80 range. Right. And I've been hesitant to buy them because I haven't really liked Rowdy before. But right. this makes me want to try those. I know it goes it's against the weight class. <laughs> I like this a lot. Um, it's different to me because I haven't had much experience with rye. And 92, 93 points. I'm a big fan of this. I appreciate you sharing with me. And I am glad to have my mind changed on this. Uh, that's what I'm here to do is change minds. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm really here to drink bourbon and tell you about it. <laughs> so, but tell us about it now. How high are you going? I'm going 96. Oh, yeah. Highest rated one that we've had so far. Yeah. And you can go back and watch all the videos. Please do. Uh, and you can verify that. Uh, I like it that much. It's one that if I, as soon as this bottle's gone or it gets eh, about right here, I'm going to go get another one. Mm -hmm. I don't want to run out. Everybody's got that one. See, yeah. I think you might be lying. I think you might go and buy a new one when it gets about, yeah. How do you know I already have it? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the intrigue and the mystery, Matt. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's that good. So mm. take my word for it. It doesn't mean much. But I would go buy yourself some. It's uh, readily accessible mm -hmm. anywhere in North Carolina. I, I've seen yeah. it in, in all the shops. So okay. um, yeah, that's, that's good stuff. I, I really appreciate it. So like Matt said, compare it against all our other scores. This may be the highest cumulative total that we have for any of them. You can watch all our videos, subscribe, hit the button that's down that area-ish. Uh, tell a friend, tell an enemy, tell anybody that you see anywhere. We appreciate that. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of those. We're at Booze Briefs. You can also visit the Oldie blog at boozebriefs.com. And we, uh, we appreciate it. And again, leave us a comment with what you think the story behind the name Whistle Pig really should be. We would, we'd be curious to read this. Best comment gets a, a big high five. We, we, or we'll fax you some molasses cookies. Oh, yes. You get to pick. Perfect. So let us know. And uh, until next time, cheers. See you later.